Good day, Laura Leader with Law Office Solution here. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can set the way shapes are inserted into Word by default. Now, the reason you might care about this is if you use a lot of shapes in your documents. For example, you can see in my document here, I'm writing some handouts on how to use some stuff. See this red rectangle? That is a shape I inserted, and I use those throughout my documents a lot just to bring uh, something to the attention of the person reading the document. So I do that all the time, and that's almost always the way I want shapes to come into Word. However, that is not how they come in by default. Let me illustrate. So here I want to add one of those red rectangles. I would go to Insert Shapes in Word, and I would pick the particular shape I want. Now it could be any of these. They'll all come in with the same sort of default look, but I'll pick the same one I was using. Now if I click and drag, maybe I wanted to put it right here, I get the default shape, which happens to be solid. Can't see my picture behind it, and it just has this thin black border. So I want to, I now, every time I do that, have to make it look the way I want. So I would have to go to it, click on it, the format ribbon comes up. In my case, I want it to not have a background, so here, is the background or the fill I should call it. No fill. I don't want any filling for my picture or my image. And I want a red border. Here are the borders. So I don't like this red right here that I've got. But then that's too thin. So now I need to go back once again and say I want it like that. There's the wait for it. Now I'm happy, but that's a lot of steps if I'm doing that either every time I insert an image or every time I do it in a new document. You can take this image and you can set it as the default. If I click on it to get its attention and then put my mouse over it and right click, set auto shape defaults will make whatever I did to this the default, but only within this document. I want it to be the default for here on out in my documents. So what I need to do is go into the template that I'm using to create my documents, and inside of that, I want to make it the default. Unless you've set up a special template for your documents, the template is going to be the normal dot, dot m. So to get to that, I want to open that up and do it inside of there. So that would be File Open from within Word. And now I would need to browse out to it. Now it's showing for me, but that's just because I was practicing with it. It's on my list, but typically it won't be. So you browse out to it. And I'm going to show you where it should be. At the end of this video, I will add how to find out where it is if for some reason it's not here when you go look for it. But if you haven't messed around with your settings, this is where it will be. So I did File Open, Browse, and now I clicked up here. So it selected everything that was up there, and I'm going to type percent app data percent if I can find it press enter that takes you straight to your user profile and now that I'm that's who I'm logged in as now that I'm here I know um, that in my the subfolder Microsoft templates templates elemental P that is where your normal dot, dot m template will be by default. And sure enough, there it is. By the way, this is the one for email. So if you don't like the way text or things look by default in your email messages, you can try modifying that. But we're not going to go there right now. OK, double click or click open. And I'm in it. Now, I know I'm in it because it says normal dot, dot m at the top here. And I just mentioned that because sometimes people will browse out to templates through Windows Explorer and double click them. That doesn't open the template. That runs a copy of it. But because we were in Word and we said file open, we're, we're good. We're golden. All right, I'm just going to temporarily put some text in here just so that we can see when we format our image that it's doing what we want. So now I'm going to insert an image into here. And I'll use the same one. Doesn't really matter, but click and drag. You can see this is how it's coming up by default. So I want to go to the fill and tell it no fill. Go to the outline, tell it this bright red that I've got set up, and then go to the weight 
and pick the weight I want. And that's what I want. And um, I can drag it around and see that it is looking good for me. So now that I have this the way I want it inside my normal dot, dot M template, I can right click it. I was moving my hand, I think. Let me try again. I gotta get it in the right place. Okay, I think the problem is that the menu choice I need is just coming up below where we are. So I'm dragging this window up a little bit and I'm gonna try again, right click. And there it is, set as default shape. So I'm doing that inside this document. Now that's the way shapes are by default. I'm gonna save what I've done. Home, oh, sorry, let me put this back. Home, save. Now, right at this minute, if I were to close this document, when I went to make a new document, it would look like this. That would not be good. So I actually want to delete this image and all this text out of here. Now, when I save, I'm saving that normal.m and I'll close out of it. And now let's just open a new document from Word, file, new blank document and if I go to insert shapes and I'll pick the same one and let's try it sure enough let me put some text in here just so we can make sure that it is indeed uh, empty inside so they can go around things they'll show through it and let's just look at some of the other images just so you'll see what I mean when I say it doesn't matter which image how about this is kind of cool looking, I suppose. Not sure what I'd use it for, but there we go. So that is the default for me now for any document that comes from my normal, which would be blank documents. Now I mentioned earlier that if you look where I showed you and do not find your normal .m template, there is a way to find out where it is. There are a couple ways to do that. I'm gonna show you this way. So if you go to File, Options, advanced in this dialog box you'll scroll all the way down and you'll see file location towards the bottom click that and the user templates folder that is where your normal dot dot m should be where whatever that is set to that is also where if you save your own templates they will be uh, so look at this I can't quite read it uh, the whole thing but if I go to modify then I can get in here and see the whole path. And that's where your normal should be. All right. Thank you very much.